Hey guys, Mikey from Nine Clubhouse here. Hoping you all had a great weekend and you're all keeping safe. Uh, I figured you guys might like to have access to some tools to work on music whilst we're all keeping safe at home. Um, and today I wanted to talk about what VST instruments and effects are and where to get them. So up until now we've focused on making music with loops and samples with a minor detour into downloading acapellas and polishing up some recorded vocals. So loops and samples are awesome tools, um, but they aren't even close to the whole story when it comes to making music on Reaper. Um, so with a loop, no matter how cool it is, it's always going to be someone else's creation. Whereas with a VST, you can play or compose the exact parts that are exciting to you and create something that's um, uniquely yours. Um, yeah, so you might be asking, what is a VST? In you know, it's uh, it just stands for Virtual Studio Technology, um, and is one of a very few global standards uh, for digital audio stuff. Um, and VST, so VSTs are, are like apps that plug into your recording software and they can be used to make music uh, as virtual instruments. So for instance, things like synthesizers, pianos, drum kits, um, drum machines, and pretty much any other instrument you can think of actually. Um, and they can also be effects units that um, you can use to alter the sound of your music um, and process the sound of your music. So. If you think of uh, effects like reverb or compression, um, equalization, um, like we looked at the Nova, for instance, in the last uh, video. So those sorts of things are all effects and they're VSTs as well. But again, there's a huge variety in this area and it's just like, you know, a massive, yeah, it's a massive thing. Um, because they're pieces of software which plug into your recording program, uh, whether it's Reaper or FL Studio, Ableton, Cubase, whatever, um, they don't require any space in your house, they're easily transportable and they don't need any maintenance because they don't ever break down. So there's some really great advantages um, to using VST plugins as a way of making music at home and there's a real shift towards using them um, for uh, songwriters and um, producers. However, for you guys, the, big, uh, the biggest advantage um, for you guys and girls out there, especially if you're just getting started, is access because there are heaps of these out things out there on the internet for free. Um, and I'm talking like literally thousands. Um, yeah. So this is great news for us because although Reaper is an amazing all-rounder for pretty much everything else audio-wise, it doesn't come with much in the way of instruments. Um, so as a contrast to platforms like FL Studio, uh, Garage, Garage Band or Logic Pro, which all come with pretty amazing sounding uh, virtual instruments. So Reaper have gone a different route and they've put the onus on you to go out and develop a library of VST instruments and effects that you like. So this is good news in the long run because not only is access to a lot of these instruments free, but you'll probably choose a set of instruments and effects that are pretty unique to you. Um, this means that you'll have an immediate point of difference to those that only use the preset sounds um, on like FL um, or, or GarageBand instruments, you know. So, um, yeah. So today we'll be having a look at where you can find a safe, reliable supply of uh, free instruments and effects. Then in the next couple of videos, uh, we're going to talk how, about how to get them into Reaper and then how you, you'd start working with them once they're in there. Um, okay, so let, let's make a start. Um, so first, let's open up your browser because this is all on the internet. I'm using Chrome, but y again, you don't have to. Um, I, I'm going to go to the search bar and type in VST4, number four, free, all one word and hit return 
and it should be the very first um, result there. So I'm just going to click on it. And everybody's on the internet, so my internet's a little bit slow. Okay, so it should look like this. Um, and, you know, you get an idea for it. It's sort of like a retro thing. This is a website that aggregates um, free VST in a fix unit and has been running a very long time. Um, I, I don't even remember when this started, but, you know, it's been going like probably close to 20 years. Um, there are thousands of different VSTs on this one website alone. And you could reasonably build up um, a library just by downloading freebies from this one website. Um, so let's have a look around and see what's up here. So up the top here, you've got options uh, to, to browse by VST instruments, uh, VST effects, um, MIDI, VST, and hosts. We'll be looking mainly, well, we'll be looking at instruments and effects today. Um, well, you'll be looking at instruments and effects. Um, I'm just showing you where, where, where to find all this stuff. Um, but as your facility as a producer grows, you'll probably want access to these other tools as well. So just remember that they're there um, because there's some really cool stuff that might change your workflow. So to start off with, um, we just want to make sure that instruments is uh, selected. Um, and uh, once we've got that selected, um, you can see that on our left hand side, we've got um, a whole bunch of different types of instruments. So we've got uh, drums, um, we've got more traditional instruments like guitars and bass and pianos and, you know, yeah, acoustic instruments basically. Um, and samplers, synths, different types of synths and vintage stuff. And the same thing's true for effects. So like if you click on effects, you've got all these different varieties of effects that you can download. Um, so like, you know, uh, delays and reverbs, uh, dynamics, that's meaning like compressors and that sort of thing. Um, EQ, filtering, blah, 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 blah. Lots of uh, saturations and tube, tube emulations and that sort of thing. So there's heaps of stuff on here. Um, but we're going to get started with, uh, say, something real easily, easy like a synth. Uh, so I'm going to... Uh, click on that and then um, I'm going to these are probably I mean I know what I'm after I'm after this guy here but have a look through this each one of these is probably worth a look though you know well there's thousands on here so you can get lost in it but I'm after this one so I've chosen this one, um, uh, it's a Yamaha DX7 synth, um, emulation sorry, um, called Dexted, and I used to own a couple of TX7s which are um, the, the brain unit of a DX7 um, back in the late 90s, and I can tell you that this, um, this plugin sounds pretty close to the original. So this screen here just tells you a little bit more about the plugin. Um, such as that it's available for Windows or Mac um, and it can come as a native audio unit and as a VST. Um, uh, and at the bottom here there's a, a little um, video and you can preview that. Not all of them have videos but the ones that do will give you a preview of what the synth actually sounds like so that's kind of cool if you're not sure if you want to download it or not. Um, yeah. Um, and the download is just below the video here. So these links here are the, the downloads. So if you know what your computer uh, and Reaper version is, so if you know it's 64-bit, for instance, um, then you want to download this version, the Win64 VST version. Um, and um, otherwise... If you're not sure, probably just download the 32-bit version um, because it will work on both. Both, um, yeah. So if you're not sure, probably download that one. Um, whereas if you're a Mac, um, for Mac users, there's option of uh, downloading 
um, the Mac OS X formatted VST uh, or the native audio units plugin um, which is called the Mac AU there. Um, the installation process for Mac plugins is actually pretty different to a Windows machine. So just for now, choose the platform and version uh, that corresponds with the operating system and version of Reaper and we'll get into the installation stuff in the next video. Um, now because I'm working on a 64-bit machine, I'm going to click on the 64 Win64 VST link and it should just download into my browser. Is it going to take me to... Oh no, cool. Yep, there we go. And um, so some of these links will take you back to the VST author's homepage and you'll have to download directly from the author's homepage. Um, and in some cases they'll want you to register an email with them. Um, so have one on hand in case this happens. Um, so you'll probably receive promotional mail from them forever after. But you know that's fair game if they're giving away away their software, right? So, you know, it's just part of it, man. You know, you gotta you gotta give to get, um, as the old saying says. Uh, and by way of an explanation too, because I really wanted to address this before we go any further. Uh, this website is so old that it still uses HTTP rather than HTTPS as its main web protocol. Um, which might make some of your browsers think the website is dodgy, but it's not. It's just old. Um, actually, all of the sites that I'm going to be showing you use HTTP rather than HTTPS. So for most of you guys, that won't mean much, but um, I just wanted to shout out and let you know that if you get a warning, like up, up here it says, not secure. It's just because it's an old website. It's not because it's dodgy. However, um, I do want you guys uh to always virus scan stuff that you download from the internet anyway especially if you're a, a windows user um, and if you're using windows 10 um, and you don't know how to do it i'll show you how to do it right now so if you go down to the downloaded file in your browser window so down here and left click on the little upward facing arrow uh, next to the file you downloaded um, and I want you to select show in folder. So this is going to take you to wherever your um, downloads are. Um, and it should be as simple as right clicking on the file and then selecting scan with Windows Defender. Um, yeah, so, so this is Windows Security. It'll open up and it'll take a second to scan the file. And if there's a problem, it will tell you then and there. Um, if there's a problem, just delete the file straight away. Don't mess around. Um, if you have another type of antivirus software on your machine, feel free to scan it with that as well. Um, and the process is obviously um, going to change from uh, system to system, but there should all be like a, um, a right-click option um, similar to that with most vi uh, virus antivirus software, I believe. Um, so we've really only looked at one website that could probably satisfy all your VST needs really just with that one website because there's literally thousands um, but I'll actually give you links for two others in the video description so that you're totally spoilt for choice uh, these websites are awesome but there is probably a bit of overlap in the content on them um, and you'll you're just going to have to go there, have a sort around, and um, figure out what you need from each of them. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, so I guess um, what I'm saying is I want you guys and girls to go and download a whole bunch of these free VSTs. And the next couple of videos, I'm going to show you how to install them um, and how to use them to make your own original music. So that pretty much wraps up this video. It's a short one this week. Um, and uh, we've talked about what VSTs are, why you'd want them, and where to get them from. Um, so don't forget the links for all of the um, websites to download VST instruments and effects will be in the video description. Um, cool. Thanks for watching. And until the next video, I hope you all stay safe and look after each other. All right. Bye for now.